thanks so much for coming back to join me for another video. Today I'm going to be cleaning and decorating for Christmas. A little here, a little there. I also got to the basement and vacuuming up that storage area. I have been like down for the count over like the last two weeks because I was really sick. I got laryngitis so bad from the viral cold that I had that I literally couldn't even talk. Uh, my throat was like swelling up and it was sore for like almost two weeks straight. So uh, I'm glad to be feeling better now and getting back into the groove of things. I'm finally getting the Christmas tree actually set up this week. I'm so behind um, but nonetheless I'm still planning to start the year strong so you know just can't let it get to us life happens so in the house my theme that I went for was gnomes and gingerbread so that's what I'm gonna put up all throughout the house so let me show you a quick view of all the spider webs and creepy spooky crawly situation here in the basement this was so gross i decided to put a mask on because i knew it was going to be absolutely horrible um i haven't like been down here in this space to hang out or vacuumed or anything in like the seven eight years that we've lived here so this was all pretty gross i'm sure it was worse before they cleaned it out but um nonetheless i got to getting all this done now i'm at a loss for what to do with this area because the two problems are obviously that little moldy spot i mean it's not treacherous i could just paint over it and like you know clean it up a little bit but um also like there's like no light here so that's the main thing that i need to be fixed i'm gonna put up i think some like little sticky wall lights that are like the motion censored ones that run on a charge instead of trying to run electrical over here i think that would be a faster and more efficient way to go about it also this whole little wood situation is kind of rickety but i don't really feel like messing with it because when it comes to home projects that's to deal with like hammering and stuff like it's just not my thing i'm not gonna I'm not gonna pretend that it is. I don't wanna overreach by trying to do it because it's just not something I'm good at. It's not something I'm interested in learning. Um, so I'm gonna use it as it is, but what I would like to do is find some cheap white paint to slap over this so at least it looks a little more presentable. But because of the whole functionality of this space, I'm not. it's not like a high priority of mine. But as you can see, this is like what it is. I'm just gonna stick all my storage things down here and then do with it what I can um, once I get to the other side of the basement the problem is that the basement is so jam-packed that like I have to get to that other space because that's where like the major decluttering is actually gonna happen is on the other side of the basement and then obviously opening up like a little bit more of the clutter from the gym side but um, I end up getting sick like right after I took on this portion and then um, I haven't gotten back down there to get to it yet. However, I did get to all the laundry. So all those piles of laundry on the floor, I did get to that over the last couple of weeks and that's cleaned up. Um, I have a bunch of blankets to throw out, but that's as far as I got. So let's go ahead and get to some cleaning and some decorating. I hope you guys enjoy.
how cute is this little Christmas tree scrub daddy sponge? I think it's so cute. I put it here so it's just more easily accessible to just keep the sink clean, especially with the kids because they're always leaving toothpaste mess everywhere. So, so far that's been going pretty well. I really like how this tiered tray turned out. It's so cute. And I like that it's very mini and it doesn't have a lot on it for any holiday. So while I was not posting, I was really sick for a few weeks and now uh, the kids have gone through it a little bit and James is going through it. And so for a few weeks there, I was like really discouraged from making content because you could barely hear me. I sounded like a screeching owl <laughs> on top of the fact that it was uncomfortable to talk a lot and I had to go to work and spend like a whole long day at work helping people at the front end of a counter. So having anything extra was horrible. Um, my throat's kind of a little bit still swollen, but I'm feeling and doing a lot better at this point. So I know we have a lot of new subscribers here in the community and I was asked in the last video, I don't think she was new, but I was asked in the last video by one of you to start integrating more conversations with you guys so we can get to know each other a little bit better um, and just go a little bit deeper than just cleaning motivation and I absolutely love that. Um, so over the next few weeks, going into the next year, I'm going to start integrating more different kind of topics on my channel. Um, some stuff might be warped into cleaning videos, like in the middle and at the end of videos and other videos are just going to come, um, straight uploaded as something else, just because there's a lot of you that have been in the community for a while that are interested in seeing more. And as well as, um, I'm interested in sharing more topics, um, that go along with my lifestyle to hopefully inspire you guys and motivate you guys to uh, do some new positive things or make some positive important changes in your life as well as when I'm doing them. I'm currently in the process of trying to find a way to go about hiring a couple of people to help me with my YouTube business because um, with working in YouTube and doing everything and being a person, it does get to be a lot and I can't stay as consistent as I would like to because of when certain things arise, like getting sick um, on top of you know, just everything is really crazy. So I'm looking to hire a couple of people into the next year too. So hopefully that will help um, stay on track with everything goal related. And I have a lot of ventures that I want to partake in, you know, over the next couple of years. So I really need to like get going on those. And, you know, um, when it comes to time management, one of the best ways to get ahead is to delegate. Um, because otherwise, you know, I'm really not going to get much done as one person still operating a household and a family. So um, in order to not sacrifice that, I definitely need to take on some help. you feel my mind or you feel my mind we could build a dream start up something new let the old be dead let the shadows in my head when the world is on your shoulders and you feel like falling over just come a little closer i'll be there for you i'll be there for you because when we are together i know you feel the tension just let me in your head so i can be there for you there for you Till we fall.
So I just wanted to know, are any of you guys going to be doing a vision board this year? It's something that I, I don't remember if I did one last year or not. Um, I definitely had something going on my phone, but do you guys do a vision board and would you guys be interested in doing a vision board video? Uh, I would love to put that together for you guys. Um, I'm working on like a new way to go about it. Um, but let me know down below if you're going to make one and what's something on your list that you're going to be going after this year. And remember, it's just for this year. It's not like a future short term goal for the vision board. While we're on the topic as well of my dirty old couch, <laughs> I want to say since we're so close to Christmas that if you're thinking of getting a pet, just know that it is a lot of work. Um, I'm in a season now where I'm kind of on that come up season where, you know, um, my kids are all in school now and there's a little bit more time in the day to like brush my hair and stuff like that. You know what I'm talking about, right? The time you can't wait for when your kids are really little. Um, however, because we have pets, um, you know, there's no full like basking in that because I feel like just as much as I cleaned up after the kids when they were really little, having pieces all over every five seconds, um, the dogs do that. <laughs> so there's like constant fluff and fuzz and fur balls and dirt on the couch and paw prints on the floor. So now that my kids, you know, take their shoes off when they're muddy at the door, the, the dogs are running in here, you know, now that my kids can get in and out of the car and, you know, take care of their own self in the bathroom, I have to wipe the dog's paws when they come in and it's a mess. So if you're thinking of getting an animal, just know that, you know, you're taking on a new responsibility. Um, and if you do, maybe get a low maintenance animal, like a small one, maybe one that doesn't shed, that would help a ton because my floors are never clean. They're clean when I clean them. And then five minutes later, it starts again, like I'm not even kidding. So, you know, I love the suggestions you guys give me for keeping the floors clean and stuff, but this is literally like the laundry. The floors are never ending with these animals and I regret having them. <laughs> I love them to death, but, um, oh my gosh, like Connor was okay, but Ash is a continual, uh, nutcase. That's all I can say. Um, I love him so much, but oh my gosh, he's a ton of maintenance. Real quick, this is called a Chom Chom, and it's a really cool um, non-adhesive lint roller. Uh, perfect, only, I think mainly for furniture. I mean, you could roll this on your pants, but look at the gunk it picked up off here. I thought this was really cool. I found this on Amazon, and I was like, this is such a great alternative to have to whip out my vacuum every single time I want to pick a little something up, and it's great for pillows. So it's really cool. I love how it works. If you're in a low maintenance season of life, I really think this is a really great alternative to having to um, actually vacuum your furniture. And you know 
Sometimes it cracks me up so much when I'm in this living room constantly kicking around this giant ottoman. It's great to lounge on, but it brings me back to when the kids were little and we had just like a small table and like we got rid of it because uh, we were pushing it to you know the other side of the wall because we didn't want the kids to get hurt on it. It had glass so we just did away with like the whole coffee table thing all together um, and I was like oh yeah when we get to a different season of life we'll get a new coffee table and it's just so funny because we haven't got there yet still and now it's like I kind of wanted to get one but um, the dogs so they're going to jump on it I think um scratch it like anything up there like you can't put certain things up there because they're just gonna take it off and try to eat it (laughs) so I don't know if we'll ever get like the coffee table living room but maybe one day when I'm older and then I can put like my cute little candles on it and you know have my coffee but for now that ship is definitely sailed I know this is like really random, but I was in the shopping store the other day and I was trying to get some hair products and I realized that my favorite product, which is it's a 10 uh, for like a heat protectant and like a curly hair leave in. And it is so expensive. Like if I use it between me and the girls, like it would probably only last like a month. And the bottle that we would need is like $40. So that's crazy. But I'm wondering like if anybody else has used that product and do you know something that's similar to it that doesn't contain coconut? Like that's my problem with natural hair products is we don't use coconut products pretty much like the majority of the time. So I don't know if you guys have any info on that. I'd love to hear it because that is so steep for one hair product. Let me know. But otherwise, I'm just cleaning behind the TV. I try to do this twice a year. I actually have like a trauma trigger when it comes to like dust collection behind the TV. I remember living with my dad, who is my stepdad, but um, he passed away. You guys know this. And when I lived with him, he was older. He had uh, rheumatoid arthritis really bad. And he had a really bad hip from a hip replacement that he didn't get fixed. And so... Uh, you know, obviously he was the older male. He wasn't walking around cleaning his house all the time. So when things would get crazy, I would be like, "Uh, uh-uh, all right, dad, I'm about to clean this because this is gross. <laughs> so I would pull the TV out and there would be just like an inch thick of like dog hair and dust on the carpet. And I always hated that. And so um, I'm like, oh my God, we're going to like have a house fire or something. So now all the time, twice a year I usually do it around winter and then like around summer I try to move the tv and vacuum between all the cords and dust so that way you know can lessen that and get rid of those dust bunnies I definitely almost just broke the tv off right there like this thing is hanging on by a thread I don't even know how that's in there I think it's screwed into this little stand um this tv situation needs to be updated but either way I got this all dusted
check out this crusty little stovetop uh in the past this was so intimidating when these things would happen um james burnt some milk onto this burner and i just couldn't get it off with my regular just soap blend so i tried the scrub mommy with the pink stuff and it didn't work but luckily the steel daddy worked and these two combination products worked amazing especially because it was fast. This wasn't a product that I had to let sit and soak and wait and see bin. Um, and it definitely wasn't like a baking soda mess where it was like everywhere and I had a lot of cleanup. So this is definitely efficient for me. This is a great functional pair to get the stovetop cleaned up.